What's up everybody? Welcome back to Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. We left off, we just started to get into the Forest of the Fallen Giants and um, and I was telling you about a... Some people call them ogres, some people call them cyclops, I call them hippoclopses, that's my name for them. They don't drop us uh, items specific to them so there is no official name for them so you can call them whatever you want. But there was the guy right there. I farmed him. As you can see, I have 13,360 uh, souls. I did use both my rusted coins. And in response, he gave me three souls of a proud knight. Oops. He gave me three souls of a proud knight. And if I go over to... He also gave me four titanite shards. So he gave me a total of seven items. Normally, I get between three and four. Three, four, maybe even five. If I'm lucky, I got seven that time. So... Uh, pretty good uh, RNG there against him. We're going to go ahead back to Majula real quick. Those enemies no longer will respawn. I killed them to the point where they don't respawn anymore. It's about 12 times, uh, or about 13 if you will, uh, and you get about 13,000 souls. This is going to get us leveled up to where we're going to be, we talk to the Emerald Herald, and we're going to be good to go. So one, the first thing we want to focus on is getting this up to 10, uh, we want to get this up to 15, and then we want to start working on these. So I'm gonna work. I'm gonna get my faith. Actually, no. I want to get that up, and then let's put one into. Our criminal is not really gonna matter. Um, let's put the other one in Dex. There, there we go. That way I feel better about it. I know it's like ten for the sword we were gonna use for a good chunk of the part first part of the game. Now the good thing about Dark Souls Two versus One is you don't need the Lord Vessel to travel between bonfires and there's only specific ones you can travel to every bonfire you rest at um now there are two rings that you can attain in this game one of them is you can never rest at a bonfire to beat the entire game without resting at a bonfire the other one is don't you can't die if you don't die you get the other ring if you can beat the entire game without dying you get the other ring i have a character that's pretty close um but i'm kind of cheesing on that character <laughs> to be honest Hi. Go over here. We'll get this guy to fall down real quick. Go ahead and hit, hit a life gem. That's the other thing Dark Souls 2 is unique to Dark Souls 2 is the life gems. And I like them. I wish they would have... Now I get in, to, in order to negate the life gems in 3, what they did was they just gave you more bonfires. See, a lot of people complained about there was too many bonfires in Dark Souls 3 but you didn't get life gems in Dark Souls 3 either so that was the that was the way they kind of um, counteracted the life gem was they were like instead of that we'll give you a little bit more Estus an easier way to get Estus and we're going to give uh, we're going to put bonfires a lot closer together so you're not dying as much we're going to get rid of this guy we're going to go up here um, we're not going to... I'm going to show you the optional boss fight for um, the Pursuer. We're not going to do it, though. Because... Um, well, I guess we could do it on this character. No, 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 no. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Uh, because the other my other playthrough, I'm going to show you his main area. So, you want to jump... You want to run and make this jump. Grab this item. And then just kind of follow these rocks down so you don't take any fall damage. If you follow these rocks down, you won't actually take any fall damage. Unlike Dark Souls 1, falling from even the smallest height will give you fall damage in this game. Um, but um, I could show you both. I could show you both ways to uh, kill the pursuer. I could do I could do the rooftop on this one and then do his main room on the main one again, or on the boss fight one. I'll try essentially. Because you get one chance at him on the rooftop, and if you don't do it, then you have to go to his main room anyway. So we'll, we'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. We'll, we'll, I should be able to do it. We just need one. We, we're waiting, waiting on one item, really. Now we can, if we're quiet, you can just sneak up behind him. We didn't get it in time. So unlock off of him. We want to run and jump. Grab this item, which should be your short sword and a soul item. And jump. 
Um, uh, resembles a truth. No, that doesn't have any lore or significance. And we haven't picked up anything else. Oh, one thing we want to equip, though, uh, we do have a lot of them now. We're going to go ahead and put our S is there. I don't know why it's not there. And then the third item we want to put down is throwing knives. Those are going to be kind of detrimental to us here in just a minute. They're going to be. It's going to make a, a little ambush much easier to deal with. The fact that we have these throwing knives. Oops. I forgot you hold down. I'm so used to Dark Souls 1 where you just push circle to go to, to slide down. Alright, so there's these two guys. They're both going to kind of get up at the same time. We got three of them actually. Alright. And then we can start getting them one at a time. Getting those backstabs is crucial. I got too many of you guys up right now. Gonna get rid of him. The life jam. Uh, oh, he dropped. Did he drop his bastard sword? Damn it. So when he dropped the bastard sword, I'd be like, oh, never mind. We're going to use that. Human effigy. And the other one's just a broken sword. But again, all these guys are laying down. They're all playing possum. Now, in the original Dark Souls 2, before they did Scholar, there used to be a hide knight here. He's not here no more. He's he's somewhere else. And I forgot to bring that up, but there is actual... When you start the game, once you get to Majula, there is two ways you can go about this game. You can come where I came, which is the Force of the Fallen Giants, or you can go to Hyde's Tower of Flames, which... By all means, you can go do that. Understand, it. it's much, much harder. It, it, it's it's actually like the second level of the game, so it's going to be a lot more difficult starting out. But you can do it. It is doable. I've done it. Um, uh, the bosses, you reap more souls from the bosses, I believe. But, yeah, I mean, it's up to you. I think we got everybody. Oh, yeah, that's everybody. Okay. So we're going to go through here. And we're at, all right, we got plenty of time to get what we need to get. So you want to go here and roll backwards. Every time you hit a wall, it degrades your weapon too. So keep that in mind. Like the see my my weapon in the bottom right hand right here. Do you see that little red bar below it? That's that's the durability of your weapon. As it's, as you hit walls and enemies, it goes down. The more walls and enemies you hit. The, fa the more walls you hit, the faster it's going to go down. So you want to try to not hit walls if you can help it. We got another throwing knife, which is nice. Behind here is some wooden, uh, some wood bolts. 20 of them to be exact, which is good because we're going to probably use those. Come here. Ow. Well, that hurt. Let's go ahead and hit a life gem. I'll, I'll have 99 of these things before too long, so just to let you know, I, li I live on life gems. Alright, so we want to go ahead and switch to our throwing knives now. Um, there's going to be two enemies here. One's going to have a bow and one's going to have bombs. We want to lock on that guy. We want to throw, throw that at him. He should fall down. No? There we go. Sure we're locked on. Well, I'll take one hit. All the soldier leggings, nice. That's the last guy up here, but there is an archer. You can lock on and hit from here. Uh, just for extra souls, essentially, because you're going to kill him again anyways. But the shield that we need uh, to fight the pursuer is right here. The buckler. And the reason is, is because this has a parry. See the parry on this? Very quick parry, right? The buckler, I'll put it right here just to show you. And I'm able to use it yet. That's fine. Um, it has a very long parry window. You see how much wider that is? 
quick, quick, wide. Am I fat rolling? Yeah, I'll just leave it. It's fine. We're fine for now. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I, my, my frame, my rolls are a little slower than I'd like them, but it's all right. There's a knight over here. He has a chance of giving you a sword too, so just keep that in mind. If you're trying to get the bastard sword before you get to the area where it actually drops, that you can farm this guy. He does have a chance of dropping it. Witching urns are always good. We're going to go in here and find my favorite uh, merchant in the entire game. Maluncha. Hi, Maluncha. So what, what you want to do is you want to exhaust her dialogue. She'll say it's about time for me to up and move. And then once she does that, the next time, once you beat the giant, she'll go to Majula. The only thing right now we need to buy from her is this key. We need to get this key. We also eventually need to buy this, this. Oh, uh, we also need to buy four of these. Or actually, I, always, I buy five, excuse me. I buy five. Buy five of those. And um, I'll show you why. There's also, um, if you're doing sorceries, an extra thing of soul arrows here. And if you're doing miracles, an extra heal here. Um, she does sell the traveler set. This helmet I would buy because it increases your drop rate. Um, I can show you. Increases your item discovery. So the rusted coin thing, it does that. This does the same thing for that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and buy that from her now. And once you spend 10,000 souls with her, she'll give you uh, the white silver serpent ring plus one. So you kind of want to spend some money with her pretty quickly. We're going to go ahead and put the... Is there any lore to this? Let's see. Hat worn by a merchant of Lanfia Lanafer, uh, where blue represents knowledge. Wearing this increases item discovery. La La Lanafer is the furthest land to the south and follows a strict etiquette of isol... Isolation. I can't say that word. Isolationism. The rare, rare visits from Lanifer is always a little odd. They're, I, they don't, they don't like people. They don't like being around people, essentially. Now, the reason we got those fire bombs, we can take these arrow. We can take these off now. We don't need them. Uh, is to unlock uh, a chance to unlock a shortcut. I buy five because I don't want to waste my money. You want to kind of stand right where these two bricks are and look down and throw a bomb right here. If you do it right, you'll blow open a shortcut that you would normally have to go around and get done. Now we can rest at this bonfire. We can light it, then rest. And we have the shortcut to uh, our first boss. And we are at the 13 minute mark. we got plenty of time to go get our weapon, level it up, and go try to take on the pursuer. Sweet. Alright, so we want to come up here. If you ever, if you're new and you come up here and you go to open this door and it says it's locked, if you look at it, you can tell it's kind of a weak door. We want to get this crystal lizard. There we go. Give me that tight, those two tight That should give us a plus five right there. There's a chest here. You might miss that because it's dark. Um, there's an axe back here. Which is good. It's a good weapon to replace this your broadsword if your broadsword starts to get uh, broken. There's a helmet, and then there's a hollow, and then there's your soapstone. Your first soapstone's right here. There's a hollow right here. He won't get up until you get close to the chest that's over here. So you can do whatever you want, but as soon as you get here, he gets up. Again, any of them that have the bastard sword on them, if you kill them, they have a chance of dropping it. So if you're trying to get that bastard as your first great sword to go with, which is a great weapon in this game. I'm um, going to get a, a radiant life gem. Okay, so now you see this branch right here. You kind of want to walk right to the edge and just slowly kind of fall onto it. And you can pick up a divine blessing. And then we're done here. See, I fell just a little bit and took fall damage, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and keep moving on. Um, and the fact that we kept those, we only used one of those fire bombs is actually going to come in useful here in just a second. Oh, I forgot about you. You gonna come down here? There you are. So you want to drop down here? You can try to plunge attack this guy. I always miss him. I didn't miss him that time, but I typically always miss that guy when I try to plunge attack him. Now, 
There's an item right here you can run and jump to or you can just walk around and get. It. I'll show you what I mean. So you can run and jump it. Which is a human effigy, which is always good to have. Um, extras of those. Or if you follow that, you can walk right up this, this tree branch right here and get it. There we go. We're going to move this way. And then we want to move out onto this tree branch here. There's some hollows down here, and then there's the ironclad I call the Ninja Turtles. Uh, but they're actually called ironclads. They actually have a name. There's a guy right here. Ah, everyone does that! Stop locking onto people I don't want to lock onto. Life gem. That's what my that's what the candy's for. Eat some candy. I'll pop two of these just to make sure I'm good. Hi frames. So there's an ironclad in here. And they're really weak to fire. As you can see. Come here. Two, three. He's gonna do a fourth swing, and then you're doing this. Kill him. They can drop their armor uh, when you kill them. Here's another one. One, two, one, two, and three. about that hollow right now we're gonna go in here and you see people have been burnt to toast by this lizard here to create I frame it roll in here and this is what we this is what we leveled up our decks and our strength for this for this item here the fire long sword uh, uh, this straight sword is is significant in, in most respects and affected in most situations if the wielder is wielded properly. Those who aspire to master the sword are certain to wield this at some point during their journey. You ain't lying on that. It's a good, 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 good weapon. Now, in the original game, if you beat the Hide Knight, you get the you would get the Hide Knight sword, which um, did magic, I believe. This one does fire. It was a long sword that did magic. This one does fire. This is why it's so good. Because of that poke right there. Because of that poke, it's so freaking good. We're actually just going to homer bone. We're not going to go running around. We're just going to go ahead and use one of these. Go to the bonfire. We're at 18 minutes. we got plenty of time still to go ahead and get leveled up. Um, and uh, not leveled up, but get our weapon uh, uh, up a few. And... Um, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and travel back to Majula. Hope everybody's having a good day. Um, I think this is a weekend video, so I hope everybody's having a good weekend. Um, I don't know if this is going to do as good as my Dark Souls 1. Hopefully it does as good, but, you know, we'll see. This is my favorite game, so. Who are you? Oh. Here are you? Oh, yeah, he wants help. Just open his door. Langhurst. Uh, right here you get a bow now for him to get him in there and actually start working just rest of the bonfire that's all you need to do just rest okay and he'll be in here smithing away he's your main blacksmith the other blacksmith will be the one who can infuse like elements on your weapons but he's the main one we're gonna reinforce this okay we got to plus three so and we need large titanite to get it past plus three we don't have it so we got it to its highest level we can get it for right now because we don't have any large titanite yet 
which is really this thing is really already pretty freaking OP now. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tele back, teleport back to oops, uh, Malencia's bonfire, and we're gonna take on we're gonna attempt to take on the pursuer, which is technically the second boss, but you can take him on early, and make him the first boss if you beat him early. But this weapon is devastating now. So what you want to do is you want to come out here and come back in. Get this guy to chase you. You need a shield. Kill this guy. The guy above us we're not going to worry about. Give me your halberd. Damn it. Because we're going to get, when we go up to fight the pursuer, we're going to take care of him. One hit. Now what we can do with this guy is we can actually kite him to kill himself. Check this out. See these barrels right here? Ah, oh, we missed it. Come on, dude. You kinda hurt us in the process, but you can do a lot of damage with those barrels. We'll go ahead and pop a life gem. And we're gonna switch the buckler, which why what, what what do we need for that? What's the stats for that? 13 decks, and we only have 11. Okay, that's fine. We'll get we'll get the 13 for it. It it, it doesn't affect its pairing ability. There's the pursuer. We want to go over here real quick and knock him off. So he doesn't mess with us. But the pursuer is one of the easiest bosses if you know how to parry. Don't let him do that to you. That's a curse. If you know how to parry, like that, he's one of the easiest bosses in the game. And you need to learn how to do that because you're going to come across him a lot in this game. And that's why I use the buckler, because you have, you have room for um, error. I wasn't ready for that one. But I was ready for that one. Ah, come on. Almost fucked that up. And he's dead. Now, the thing you need to do is quickly get up. Not let this happen. We're gonna roll off. Here, we're probably gonna die. Nope. Okay. Let's just go here. Ah, get in here. Rest of the bonfire, real quick. I don't wanna. I don't wanna waste anything. Alright, so, uh, those guys get up as soon as you kill the pursuer, or if he leaves. If you die to him and you go up there, they'll be there. So you get the, you get the Ring of Blades. Let's go ahead and ring this. The Ring of Blades is modeled after the, after the Mad Knight of Auckland's weapon of choice. Increases physical attack. The Kingdom of Auckland, if I'm saying that right, and then long ago flourished on these very grounds. They are both founded by the same man and were reduced to ri rivalry and spite. It's a great ring. Increases our physical attack damage. How do you say know that? Again, just come out, come back in. Wait for Artard to come up. You can hear him. Go ahead and kill him. Kill him. Hey, we're not worried about him yet. We will be going down there tomorrow. 
I mean, look how much damage you do with this thing. Look at that. Poke. Poke. Three pokes, he's dead. I want to get to this guy first. Because he's the one with the shield. The other two don't have shields. They... The other two are pretty easy to deal with. This guy, again, we just run over here. Run over here. Oh. Okay. Alright. Now he dies. Up here with me. We're going to go ahead and pick up. There's a lot of life. Uh, not a life gem, but a uh, SS flask up here. See? So you now you got plus three already. Or not plus three, but you have three SS now. So where are we at on time? 25. Yeah, we're going to stop this at the 25 minute mark. We'll re uh, we're I'm not going to rest. I'm just going to use a life gem because I don't want to I don't want to respawn that stuff cuz I got to go to that area next to it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, like, comment and subscribe. Hit that notification button uh, for further content. Also share the videos, guys. Please share them for me. You guys be doing me a huge solid if you just share these videos. Um, hope everybody has a great weekend and I will see you I always do that on the next video. Bye guys.